starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. Christopher Columbus kept on trying to find someone who was able and willing to help him carry out the plans which he had so much at heart. Christopher Columbus. All right, Timmy, you may go. Timmy, what is it? Mom, it's Mr. Cully. He's awful sick. Please, we just got to get help. Well, now, wait a minute, dear. J just keep calm. Where are you? Over at Mr. Cully's. Lassie brought me here. We found Mr. Cully on the tractor. He's all white, Mom, and unconscious. What'll we do, Mom? All right, now, listen to me, dear. I'll call the doctor, and then I'll be right over. But you go back to Mr. Cully. Now, don't try to move him. Just stay with him. Do you understand? All right, Mom. Please hurry. Bye.
What is it, doctor? I'm not sure. It may be a heart attack. We'll have to get him to the hospital right away. Mrs. Martin, would you go up to the house and call an ambulance? Yes, right away. Is, is he real bad, doctor? He's a mighty sick man, son. Mr. Cully's the best friend that last thing I ever had. Hello there, Timmy. Sir, Mrs. Martin. Well, how is he, Doctor? Well, there seems to be some heart damage, but he's showing good progress. Then he'll be all right? Well, I think he can be, Timmy, but it's largely up to him. Normally, we wouldn't permit visitors this soon, but I asked you people to come because Collie has a special problem. Oh, what's that? Collie. Oh. <laughs> that man is, without a doubt, the most impossible patient I have ever had. Yeah, he's pretty stubborn. Stubborn. He's absolutely bullheaded. He insists on going home today. Oh, well, of course, that's out of the question. Well, absolutely, it would kill him. If Cully's going to get better, he has to have complete bed rest for quite a while. And meanwhile, no worry, no anxiety. And that's where you people come in. What can we do, Doctor? Well, I can't reason with him. You people know him better than I do. Perhaps you can. Well, we'll certainly try. Good. If you follow me, I'll take you to his room. My mother. How does she have to happen? Some friends to see you, Cully. Hi, Mr. Cully. Hi, Cully. Hello, Cully. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Paul. Timmy. You don't stay too long, please. We want him to get as much rest as possible. All right, Doctor. It's nice to see you looking well again, Mr. Cully. Thank you, Timmy. Oh, you gave us quite a scare. A scare? Oh, that's just a lot of nonsense. The only thing wrong with me is I ain't getting no clothes. She took them away from me. Well, I don't think you'll need any clothes for a while, Cully. Oh, Paul, I, I need them right now. I gotta get back to my farm. I got a lot of work to do. Oh, honestly, Cully, you're like a little boy. You've had a close call. You've got to stay in bed and rest. And what's gonna happen to my farm? I get livestock to take care of and... I get chickens to feed and eggs together and my melon patch. Uh, I get the best melons in the whole county. <laughs> I'm going to win that first prize at the county fair this fall. All that stuff needs looking after. And so does your heart, Cully. And that means no work for quite a while. Paul, how is it going to get done? Mr. Cully, I can do it. You, Timmy? Sure. Lassie and me, we could do it together. We'd feed the livestock and the chickens. We'd weed and irrigate the melons. Well, I don't know, Jimmy. Uh, how about your schooling? Well, I could stop by your farm every day after school. And Lassie could stay there all day. Uh, that's mighty nice of you, son. But you get your own chores to do at home. I think we might relieve Timmy of his chores for a little bit. Besides, the doctor says you have to stay calm and not worry. Mr. Cully's sure ought to win with these melons. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
Son, if there's one gopher, there are probably more. Do you think we had to do anything else besides the traps and the poison? No, that should do the trick. But you better bury these cyanide pellets pretty deep. We wouldn't want Lassie to get hold of one. Here you are. Dad? Yeah? Do you think we ought to tell Mr. Cully? Well, your job is to keep Cully's mind off his troubles. The way I figure, what he doesn't know won't hurt him. Thanks. Well, I better be going. Bye. Last of the poison. And all the traps are set. Now all we have to do is wait and hope. Find out anything, son? <sighs> Not yet, Dad. It's mostly about traps and poison. And those gophers in Mr. Cully's melon patch are too smart for that. We've had traps and poison out for three days and haven't caught a single one. Well, I'll uh, go out with you before breakfast and see if I can be of any help. Thanks, Dad. And one thing's for sure, if we don't hurry up and do something, that whole patch will be lost. Hey, here's something. Natural enemies. The gopher's worst enemy is probably the weasel. Had it not been for the weasels keeping the gophers under control, man's earliest attempts at agriculture might well have met with failure. Do you think there's anything to that, Dad? Well, I suppose so. But I don't see how that helps with your problem. I know where there's a weasel. Down by the lake. I was thinking... If I can catch him and put him in Mr. Cully's melon patch. Yeah. That sounds like a great idea, son. Lassie, I think this is going to do it. Lassie! Lassie, I got him, girl. I sure hope this works. Now, you stand guard, girl. If he tries to get away, you head him off. Go on, shoot! Shoot! Go on! Go on, get in there! So far, so good, girl. Come on, Lassie! Come on, girl! Come on, Lassie! <laughs> something else to eat. There's only one thing to do. Lassie, I doubt he'll go in the cage after being caught once. But we have to try. Listen, girl. I know you don't like to be by yourself, but you're going to have to stay here all night. 
and watch the rest of the chickens. And stand guard against the weasel. I don't want you to kill him. On the county, he helped us. Please, girl, don't let him do any more damage. Bye. <laughs> Saved. Brought you something to eat. Take it easy. Yeah. All right. Hello, Hi, uh, Timmy. Oh, you back. I'm sure glad to be back. I'll tell you that. Hi, Timmy. Hello, Lassie. <laughs> oh, that melon fat sure looks fine. You and Lassie did a real good job. Thanks, Mr. Cully. And it don't you... look like you've any more gopher trouble, huh? Oh, what an idea. A weasel, huh? <laughs> Sure, you know what he did, Doc. He, he went out and got himself a weasel and Mr. put it in the melon patch and, and scared off the gophers. But, Mr. Cully, I... What do you think of that, Doc? Well, that's great thinking, I'd say, Cully. Yeah! Come on, I... let's go over here and sit down. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I knew my farm would be in good hands Mr. with Jimmy there. And, uh, yes, sir, like I said... It's time for your pill, Cully. I'll get some water. Uh, yeah, right inside. Uh, right inside, Doc. Mr. Cully, please listen. I have to tell you something. Something wrong, Timmy? Mr. Cully? Didn't do a good job. What do you mean? Last night, we made an awful mistake. A mistake? The weasel. Oh, he took care of the gophers all right. But then... Well, go ahead. What then? Last night, and the night before last, he got into your hen house. And we can't stop him. I'm afraid he's going to kill every chicken you have. You are, Cully. Thanks, Doc. I'm sorry, Mr. Cully. I'm sorry. I tried. You see, Doc, when I first come to your hospital, you had a lot to say about me not worrying. Is that right? That's right. Timmy, that's the job you had to keep Cully from worrying. All the time he's been in the hospital, he, he's felt that his farm was in good hands. That's the job you took on, that's the job you did. And without the peace of mind that you gave him, well, Cully might not even be here. There, you see? But the weasel, he'll still be after your chickens. Oh, not for long, he won't. Now, see to me, the doc says I gotta take things easy. Now, if I'm gonna win that melon prize, well, I won't have too much strength for other kinds of work. So, 
Why don't you and Lassie keep the chickens over at your place until after the fair? And that way, the weasel will move out of his own accord. That's a great idea, Mr. Cully. Yeah, and, and, and Timmy, you can keep the egg money as payment for taking care of my farm. Gee, thanks a million. Mr. Cully, I'm glad you're well and that you're home. Thanks to you, Timmy. <laughs> yeah, and you too, Lassie. <laughs>